Google is starting to do to websites what they're doing to YouTube. They're making it so it's very hard to find a number of sites that might have controversial opinions. And this includes ones that are very left-leaning and very socialist. Take this for instance, this is Counterpunch. Google censors block access to Counterpunch and other progressive sites. This is happening. But we do have some options and there's going to be a march on Google on August 19th. There's a number of places, uh, uh, Saturday, August 19th, anywhere Google has an office. You can see here by this map. So four more cities have been announced. One of them is in Pittsburgh and I will be going to that. It's a week from now. I, uh, I hope many of you go to these because this, at this point, this is, you know, it was one thing when Google was doing this to YouTube, but when they're starting to do it to websites, they're doing it to the way that most people are getting their information on the internet. Something, something needs to be done. They need to be sent a clear message. And if they don't take that message, then we're going to have to find a way to just boycott Google. You know, if this shit gets much worse, um, I will definitely be dropping anything Google oriented. The hardest one will be Gmail. It means it means I won't be using this particular smartphone anymore. I'll switch back to the the iPhone that I had. This is if these marches don't do much good. The only th way that we could do any good is to just basically boycott Google. I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope they get that the idea that promoting a 1984 kind of a scenario is not something that we're going to accept.